thinking about bringing together a group to develop some commitment towards a direction, what we'll find is that not necessarily everyone in the room is going to walk away entirely committed. A uh, number of years ago, I went on a course called Leadership and Mastery done by Innovation Associates, and they pulled out this hierarchy, which I'd like to share with you. At the top part, you're going to have people who are committed. Right? And this individual uh, has commitment to the direction, say, uh, not only do I uh, think this is the right thing to do, uh, I want to be a part of it, and I, want, I, I just want to be, I want to be involved. Uh, you might get some people who are even more so, more committed, and they say, you know, not only that, I want to take a lead role in it. And this is what I'll refer to as enrollment. They have really enrolled in the change or the direction of the plan. They say, I want to be part uh, of the pre people to make it happen. Now, the issue, of course, is there's a big line, because below commitment, you're not going to generate the same kind of enthusiasm and everything under here is compliance. I'm complying with the direction that has been set by the group. Now, there may be varying levels of it. In fact, there are four levels of it. <clears throat> There's genuine compliance, saying, yep, it's the right thing to do, and I'll support it to the best of my ability. There is formal compliance, which is just a little less. And what this group is saying is the devil's in the details. You know, directionally, I think this is right, but as soon as we get into it, I'm not sure. So I'll support it as long as it's continuing to unfold. The next level down is dangerous. This is where we get grudging compliance. And what that is is, you know, this is not really uh, a useful direction. I don't really support it, but I will support it as long as you're watching. Okay, and then as soon as I go back into my office and deal with my team, pff, say that you, the, the central guys are blowing smoke. And then at the bottom we have <coughs> straight non-compliance, which is, hey, it's not the right thing to do, and I just won't support it. This is a safer person than this one. And let's put this in perspective to just to get an idea of what these mean. Take the speed limit. And in Canada, we're dealing with 100 kilometers per hour. So... The people who are committed, saying this is the right thing to do, has to do with safety, it has to do with conservation, it has to do with keeping good cars on the road and, and protecting the environment. So I will travel the speed limit. Enrollment probably means to take a little bit more leadership and try to get the community to support the, support the traffic laws. Genuine compliance is where the individual is saying, I'm going to travel at 100 because that's the law. Formal compliance is, well, you know, I'm traveling slower than I used to, but I'll do 117 because over 117 I'll lose points. You know? Grudging compliance is where I've got the fuzz buster on the dash, and so I'm traveling around 140. As soon as it beeps and I, I slow down to the round the speed limit. Non-compliance is don't travel the highway at all. Side roads doing 160. So how do we apply this hierarchy? It's important then at the end of any session that you've established some plans or some directions, it's important you understand where people are on the spectrum uh, to get their support. This clearly, not everybody is going to be committed. Everybody needs to be at least at that level or above. If people have grudging compliance for it, say, okay, so if you don't support it, and get it out on the table because maybe you've got some valuable information that will allow us to adjust our direction. Formal compliance is okay, because over time they'll migrate as, as it, it unfolds the way it should, it evolves the way it should. Then they'll move to genuine and ultimately to commitment. So, at the end of the session, find out where people are. Probably a good idea to find out where people, people are all the way through the process.